got to feel in heaven when my lover's near. Lord, let this moment last for another year. Though today has ended, the night's still young, I'd say. Lover, don't go away. Let it be the thing that I am longing for. Let's fly out from Manhattan to the California shore Just to watch the ships at night on the San Francisco Bay Oh, lover, please, please stay Don't say you have to go Don't say you need to run Stop the clock on Central Station And we can have a trip downtown Let it be the night that I am longing for Let's fly down south to Austin or to Ecuador Just to drink pina colada on a hot wet summer's day Crazy Sanka set. I'm the Divine Danny D. And I am a very warm El Diablo. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little warm in here. Our air conditioning currently is not working, and it's what 32? No, I just checked. It's uh, only 29. Oh, it's only 29. So it's only 29 Celsius. Celsius. Which if you're is American 80, and you're going that 85. 85. So it's a little warm in here. So there's a little bit of a, a glow, a perspiration. If the, if about the makeup me. starts to melt off, we'll just pretend it's the sci-fi episode and. Ah. Um, you can't do that, then it would throw off the whole schedule. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I tried to like put it together. I yeah. dried my hair into the hair dryer, and then I was like, why are you doing this? It's <laughs> just going to grow like a sea monkey. Um, welcome to the show. If you've ever been here before, today we are going to do a little bit of cooking. We're going to make some cocktails, and we're going to have a little bit of fun together. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of fun. Kind of we fun. don't want to have too much fun. Because where does that leave us? Where, that, where would we go from there? No, we're going to have an amazing time. It's going to be so much. Uh, we have so many fun guests and music and comedy and, and, and whatever Chef Duyan is. And yes, that <laughs> thing. So uh, if you're in the chat, say hi. We'll, we'll pop on over we'll and see say people hi people coming in. Oh, my golly, there's already so many people coming in. Love it. Love it. Today oh. is our episode by the sea. The sea. Uh, it's or all maybe if it's reversed. No, no. Do, do it again. Wrong way. That's right. Hold on, sorry, I've got better lines than that. Stop trying to check yourself out in the mirror. Shit. Uh, if you, today is all about, uh, we're going to make some seafood. We're, yes. We're going to make some cocktails that start with the letter C. Cocktails does start with C. Already, any cocktail we make, we've already it accomplished. <laughs> Um, you think we're smart. We just lazy. <laughs> we just do what we do. Um, yeah, we're going to have so many amazing things for us today. I love yes. this show. Very excited. I'm also, I forgot to eat today, so I'm very excited to eat. I'm excited for you to eat. I'm also, because I'm slightly evil, excited for you to start having cocktails. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to. I'm calling schmammered by five. It's going to it's gonna take a little bit of a left turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if uh, if you're watching us here for many, we have so many different platforms we broadcast to. We are currently being seen over on Facebook at our channel, the Stir Crazy uh, TV Stir, Stir Crazy TV channel, uh, our page on uh, Facebook. We're currently on the Wiggle Room page as Hi, well. Hi, Wiggle Room family. Uh, on Facebook. Uh, you can follow us. Uh, you can also see this on our YouTube channel. Yes. 
uh, youtube.com slash stir crazy show. Um, I, I like the YouTube. One of the things that I find is the benefit of the YouTube is you get uh, all the other chats come into that one mm -hmm. chat. So if you want to see what other people on different platforms are, are saying, saying yeah. that's a good one to go to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you can also see us on Twitch. Uh, at twitch.tv uh, slash stir crazy show and also because there's just not enough channels Mixer! Mixer! We're over on Mixer live at mixer.com slash stir crazy TV so check out one of those four things uh, I find if you're gonna you have lots of screens you can put all four put all of them up and see what happens see make them you fight <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I've, I've checked them all out. I personally, my, my favorite is to watch it on, on YouTube. Me too. But uh, Especially now that we have uh, captions. Now we have, well, we, uh, on one of our things we have captions. This will be automatically captioned. Yes. Because I don't want to go in and type every caption Understood. for this. Understood, but on the promos you've got some captions. I've did some, I, did, I went in and did captioning this week. And it's, it's tons of fun um, to it, watch our promos in different languages. It is. It really makes me laugh. Um, it's my new favorite free entertainment this week. However, I also think that part of my favorite fun is to watch the automatic captions that yes, YouTube puts true. up and to see what words it comes up with. Because for when we did the May two for one, every time you said the word May two for, which are the only two words you said <laughs> for the majority of the promo, the whole promo, um, it came up with a different thing every time. Yeah, so good fun. Good it's kind of funny. So that's what we're going to do today. Like I said, we also have our sexy lady is back. We are sexy lady is back. We resurrected her from the dead. <laughs> from the dead. Uh, we have uh, the amazing chef Duyan with I'm sure something so amazing. It will knock your socks right off your head. Why you're wearing your socks on your head, we'll never know. And uh, back with us again, uh, the amazing Ben Cardilli uh, from an, a, another song from his new album, The Great Indoors. Um, he just can't quit. Man. He just can't quit. He he's is so. Legit. He's too. Yes. I've always said that about Ben Cardilli. He's too he, legit to quit. He, well, he, he is the MC Hammer of our generation. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to go check in. I'm just going to give oh, yes. everyone, because we're getting used to doing this, in case you are cooking with us this evening. Oh, yes. Ingredients list um, has been posted up on the description for the event. We are making salmon sliders with fresh, not canned salmon. Mm. Um, so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is, um, if you're cooking with us, rinse off your salmon, give it a little patsky, dry it off. Um... You want to do your mise, the ingredients are there, you need some mayo, you need some Dijon mustard, some chives, soy sauce, uh, sesame oil, sesame seeds. Yeah, we'll bring um, up the whole list. We'll you. bring up the whole list, but if you want to do all your getting ready of stuff. Yeah, just check, um, or if you're on YouTube, just check in the description. In the, in, right the, there. The comment, in the description Whatever below. Whatever is there. Where you can find everything that we're doing there. Um, yeah, Over let's there. go check in on the people. Let's say hi, hi to the people. Hi, people. I need to make that change. How are you? Who is here now? Uh, Sylvie Couture is always here. Well, thank you so much. Josh Budman's here. Hey, Josh. Hey, thank Josh. you very much. We do, we're, we're very proud of our kitchen. Uh, we're Yeah, we have it all. Some people are all showing up. This is a fantastic. Um, did you, is that the flow? You have the work? I just want to make sure we're in the right. Do I have the flow? You yeah. have. Did you, let's play. You didn't bring it to the. Oh, I didn't bring it, but you know what? Um, I'm sure we're on time. <laughs> For what I what I'm trying to remember is I don't remember what we're doing next. Oh, um Oh, I remember now. I suddenly remembered. I just like uh probably showing them our very yeah. uh, silly poem. So uh but I just want to check in. Who else is here? Uh Megan Bigo. Misty is all is here as well. Me, 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 me. Um, Yannick. Oh, fantastic. Uh also, if there's anybody on any of the other platforms, I just want to sort of take a quick gander and make sure we're working on all the You're different. You're gandering. I am gandering. I'm just Look checking the little platform. Let's see who do we have here. Hello, my love. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. We have some people over. He's bouncing between screens. Yeah, we have some people over on Twitch. We have some people over on Mixer. Fantastic. This is amazing. It is. We're everywhere. So, um, thank you. Oh, I'm going to tilt that up so my so phone lasts. <laughs> Your boobs look better and the top of my head stays in there. Uh, so, welcome. Jo I'm so glad you're here. Uh, it's good to see everybody showing up. Um, fantastic. 
And I don't know what that is. Why is this? I'm turning that off. You turn that off. I don't know what that hey, is. Hey, Duder. There we are. That sounds, that looks better. That makes me a son of a Jerry Pop. Uh, Jerry, Jerry Pop, Pop is here. Ben, ben is here. Is of course, on. Speak of the devil. Speak of the, the, the MC Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go back and uh, talk a little bit about what we're going to do I'm going to Roger Rabbit my way there. Going back to one. We're here. Hold on. Roger Rabbiting there. <laughs> Roger Rabbiting. Making MC Hammer. Uh, so today, we are making, you said, as you're making salmon sliders. Salmon sliders. Uh, we're also going to make an amazing cocktail uh, with, uh, I'm calling it the green lemon, uh, it's a green vodka lemonade. Uh, green the green is lemonade. coming from uh, cucumber. And from uh, basil. Basil? Or basil, or however you want to basil. say it. Uh, in, a, in a vodka lemonade, it is, a, for so, a day like this, it is so amazingly refreshing. A day like where you're sweating a ball? Where I'm sweating, sweating. Yes. That's how much you're sweating. You're eh? sweating it's like a lightning so of much. sweat. <laughs> sweating. So uh, we're going to be doing that today. Um, but uh, we always like to start our shows with a little what we did this week. This is what we did this week. You, well, turned, you turned me into a puppet. I turned you into a puppet. Uh, if you haven't seen, we make put out promos every week advertising this show. Um, and they're all, they've been turning in more and more into these sort of mini little films. We have a ton of fun doing them. Yeah. Um, so, and this week we turned you into a puppet. You did. Actually, I have to shout out um, my best friend, uh, Joseph Belanger, who bought me this as a gift years ago. And we were joking this week of like, yeah, he totally knew. Um, one day, one day that we'd be in the middle of a pandemic, and you and I would be—we would need a puppet we would of need you, a puppet of me. So, so uh, how fortuitous! Yes. Um, so we have that. Um, we have that promo. Is it queued up? It is queued up. Everything's queued up, ladies and gentlemen. In case you didn't see it, uh, the promo from this week. Muck and puppets. Danny, we did it again. What? What do we do? What? what? <sighs> Damn it. How do we always forget this? Quarantine is hard. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. Quick, Quick change, change powers, powers activate. activate. Hi. I'm El Diablo. And I'm the divine. Oh, my God. What? Oh, you're a fucking puppet. Oh. My. God! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my it's God. okay. I can fix oh this. Oh, my God. I can fix this. It's okay. I can fix this. Well, just give me a second. Hang on. Okay, go. Hi. I'm El Diablo. And I'm the Divine Danny D, boys and girls. Join us this Thursday at 5 p.m. I only have four fingers. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, and Mixer for the latest edition of the Stir Crazy Sank A Set. This week's episode, By The Sea. Oh, you mean sea. No, I mean sea. That's what I said, sea. No, no, no! I can't believe you're gonna make me do this again. <clears throat> no, Danny! Not C! C! I don't get it. <sighs> C is a word that also means ocean, but the letter C starts words like cat, care, COVID, and I can't believe you're making me do this again, you dumb cunt. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> this week, we'll be making delicious salmon sliders. <laughs> and to accompany some tasty and refreshing cucumber cocktails. You're an ass. So join us 
cook with us, drink with us. Or just join in all the fun and socialize, but distantly. Check the description below for all the crazy details and your ingredients. Or just tune in to facebook.com slash stircrazytv slash live, YouTube live, uh, twitch.tv slash stircrazyshow, or mixer.com slash stircrazytv on Thursday, May 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join in all the fun! Yay! So, it's C, not C. C? Yes! You get it now? C. Oi. Yay! <laughs> You're a fun Muppet. I'm the Muppetiest. You are. <laughs> For people who know me already think I am kind of, kind a, of a Muppet, Muppet in real life, so... But I've, I, I, and in all fairness, you were normally kind of Muppety, but when we had to make you a Muppet, you were not having fun being a Muppet. Uh, it, 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 if I had been able to just sit and, like, puppeteer, it would have been one thing, but because you could see the top of my head, we had to, like... Lie you down. I was lying down like this yeah. with this. It was, it was something. It was awkward. But it's good. I don't go to the gym, so we film promo and stuff. I'm going to move you just slightly just because slightly. you decide you keep pushing me off, and I'm... All right. I apologize. It's okay. These hips don't lie, you know. <laughs> um, I'm just going to, something that's a little bit wonky on that. I'm just going to see if I can. Our puppet quickly, is blind. I can quickly fix this. Uh, it's a third eye okay. side situation. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, that seems to fix everything okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to deal with our first thing today. We're going to start off because I haven't had any food to eat today, so we thought. <laughs> Let's get Danny a uh, little schnockered. Into the cocktail. So we are going to make uh, the uh, green vodka lemonade. Just yep. There you go. Here you can see the Watch green, me disappear. green vodka lemonade. So very, very simple drink, a, a few steps to it. But uh, it's going to require a few things. First thing, of course, it is we're going to require some vodka. We are using M Vodka, which is we're based in mm. Montreal. This is a local, uh, locally made uh, vodka. There is their handcrafted small batch. Yes, that's, that's what I call, yeah. <laughs> uh, Excellent. I love this vodka. It's really nice. We're also going to need, we're using Cointreau, but it, some kind of orange liqueur, mm -hmm. um, triple sec, orange curacao, all of those will work. We also have limoncello up there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, we're going to use that. Later on, we're going to do a variation, which now I would mention, that we're going to do with a little bit of a, with limoncello instead. Limoncello finds a little sweeter. Um, so if you like that, you may want to go the limoncello route, but I like the, uh, the Cointreau cause it's, I don't find it super sweet. Also go with what you have in your house right now. If yeah. you haven't made it out to your local liquor store, if you've got, you got limoncello, go for that. If you've got Cointreau, go for that. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you like it a little less sweet, yes. this is what I'd I recommend. Just, if it's um, an option. Also, we're going to use some orange bitters in this. We also have some simple syrup. This is just one-to-one. Uh, one lower, part sugar. Lower one, your mic volume a little bit. As lower my session. mic volume. Just a little bit. Oh, really? That should have all been set, but we can do that. It's okay. He's just there. There we go. Hmm. Uh, Is that better, Audrey Ivory? For Audrey. I, or here's another thing, Audrey. You could turn down your computer or TV or phone. That would also work. The customer is always right. The cu they're not customers. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to use some simple syrup, one-to-one, -one, sugar and water. We also have fresh uh, lemon juice we just squeezed before the show. So those are all the sort of liquidy parts of this cocktail. Now and the other... Those are the solidy parts. Yeah. Exactly, literally. Okay. So uh, the other thing we're going to need is we're going to take some... Uh, we're going to take three slices of cucumber per drink. I'm going to make one at a time because, uh, oh no, I've got this. I'm going to make it both at the same time. So in this case, since I'm making two, we're going to take six cucumbers. I'm just going to take you there. 
And we're just gonna, oh, let me, ah, let me get that out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing here. You wanna fly cam this I in? I could fly cam this so in. So I like to, this is, this is gonna be just for muddling purposes. So you Hold can on, see. Let me get down there. There you and go. And let me, ooh, switch it. There you go. Check us out. So you can see what we're doing here. I just did it into quarters and now into eights. Boom, and all of that. Just gonna go into my mug, into my uh, glass. Boom. The other thing that we are going Would to. Would you like to be? Let's go back. Let's go back. Main cam. There we go. The other thing that we are going to put into this is some beautiful fresh basil. So we're just going to take a little bit of basil off of this. Don't need a ton. I find one of the things we were testing. I was testing a few variations of this out. And basil is very overpowering, mm. so too much of it can sort of, you lose a little bit of the cucumber notes, you lose a few. So I, I just, I think probably about three to four leaves per, and just give that a little tap, just sort of activates it, gets a little bit of that going. We're really trying to get you guys to learn math. So yes, fractions again. Yes, so we're gonna put that in there. Um, now, into this glass, we are going to add a half an ounce of simple syrup per drink. So I'm going to do it twice. So there's one half and second half. So with that in place, we are now going to muddle. Oops, my muddler's wet. I'm going to wet muddler. Got a wet muddler? Yes. Um, I like the sticky bandit. Yes. Wet bandits. So we're just going to... Just, my, I don't want to. I kind of want to come back over here. Yeah, you can come back over here. I, I, we're just going to sort of push the, what we're trying to do is A, break up the cucumber a little bit. So to get some of the juice, cucumbers are mostly water. So you want to get, mm -hmm. here, get in there. I'm getting in there. It just doesn't want to. Here, res reset it. How do I reset it? You've never taught me I that. did that. Top it twice. Oh, top it twice. There's a reset, but. Hang on, you're not doing anything. Let's go back to one. That's okay, but well then, I got you. All right, so we're just gonna do that. So that's really all we want. We wanna break up a little bit of that cucumber. We want to uh, to release some of that, the basil in there. If you put your nose in there and you smell the basil and you smell the cucumber as well. It's so refreshing, like, just like that, I wanna take a bath in that, it right um, now. <laughs> once, if you have that smell, then you know you've got it where you want it. So now we're going to uh, start building our cocktail. We start building our cocktail. Uh, one of the things I always remember, you wanna start building with your least expensive uh, elements first. That way, if you mess it up, you haven't wasted your alcohol. Ah, Trace Smart. Yes, so we are gonna start off. We're being responsible about yes. potentially being irresponsible. Exactly. I, it's my whole life motto. So I we are it. gonna start off with, per drink, one ounce of lemon juice. This is a lemonade, so it'd be weird if we did not have lemon. Oh, we got a, oh, we got a pip got, in there. I got a pip in there. Yeah. Squeak. So we're gonna put in some lemon juice. We are going to add to that, zum, 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 zum. we're gonna to add to that um, a half ounce of our Cointreau per drink. For a total of one ounce, yes? For a total of, well, a total of one ounce, but I want it half, half ounce, ounce per, per drink. Yeah, so a half an ounce. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I don't like to say both those things in case people think that I'm talking ah. about the single drink. We are making two drinks. Yes, and then on top of that, you wanna give me a, uh, a spout? Release the Please. basil. Where did you put this? There, they should be in the bar, right by the oh. far right corner. No, oh no, on the oh that, yep, oh, that right far. far right corner. Makes it just a little bit easier to pour. Thank you very much. Plus, it makes you feel fancy. Be honest. Oh, I'm very fancy either way. So now that we have that. We are going to put in per drink an ounce and three quarters of vodka. One and. Two. Oh, that's a big drink. So once we have that all in place, we are now going to fill our. I'm just going to take your lemon juice out of the way. Tin up. Yeah. Fill our tin up with some ice. There we are. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Our tin is full, 
Uh, My lady friends are being very kind to me right now. Thank you, ladies. Oh, you look beautiful. That's why. Um, I'm just going to put one more. Uh, put some more ice in there. And we're just going to pour all of that in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that into our... Give it a little top ski. And we're going to give this a shake for about 15, 20 seconds. I'll get out of the way while you do what you do best. All right. Now that we have that in place, burlesque. Can you get me also the fine strainer, please? Yeah. The fine strainer. So we are going to start building our drink here. Is it on the bar or in the? It should be the third drawer. In the back, right yeah. there. Perfect. Um, so, first things first, we are going to put three cubes. I also think this drink is really nice over crushed ice. Especially for the summer, this over crushed ice is really good. It just keeps sort of slightly changing as you go through, but in this case, it. we're going to make it over three nice big hunks of ice. Oh, oh, Thanks, that is a Jay. big. Ah! That one hunk of ice wanted to get away. It is scared. All right, that can Should go I back. Put this yes, please. Thank you. So now that we have that in, we got. Uh, oh, that's what I forgot to do. Add the bitters. Add your bitters. So we're gonna just do this quick. I forgot to add bitters. So we're gonna. We have in this case. Um, that's what I forgot to add. The orange bitters. We're using orange instead of Angostura this week. One dash per drink. Can I have a bar spoon just to like yeah, give me a bar. A I'll, I'll have one right here. Oh. I have one right here. So we're just gonna sort of shake there. We're just gonna give that a quick mix in. Ideally, you would have done this before, but we're live. We're Stuff live. Happens. Things happen. We're just going to take that off of here. Now, in this case, we are going to now strain because there's basil leaves in here, because there's cucumber seeds, because there's lemon pulp. We're going to double strain this just to get oh, only. You don't want to be eating your your exactly. Drink you your don't want to. You don't want a drink that feels like you're you're drinking a salad. I'm just going to take that. I drink most of my calories, and I eat a lot of salad, so if I could combine those two, that would be great. Here we go. Oh, that's actually. perfect. That is lovely. Yeah. And again, nice color on that. That is. It's a beautiful. This is where I call it. It's the green lemonade. Now to make that, I'm just going to, so we're going to go, we're going with a nice, fine strip. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take you down, and we're just going to take a nice strip. Did you just threaten the cucumber? Of Cucumber. I'm going to take you down. One. Oh, very aggressive. Two. Oops. And I like to just, oops, there we go. I'm going to slide that down the side just to give it a nice little oh, stripe. Oh, bow. There you go. And if you really want to continue, you could also do a disc, but we're not going to do that. We have that in there. That and we delicious. have to go with this. I'll put that one in mine. Beautiful little straws. Look at with that. With that in place. How summery is so that? So is that, that is the green vodka lemonade. Vodka triple sec. This one made with triple sec, exactly. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not triple sec, Quantro. Quantro. We made with Very Quantro. Very similar. So we try that out. Cheers. Cheers. That is effing delicious. For summer, that is amazing. It's so refreshing and it's light. Um, I find for summer, that's one of the things I love about cucumber cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to put this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to just move that behind me. Yes. Um, for, for the summer, if you want something, you're having people over, you want to make some drink. What's nice about this if you're is you can make people you can, over. Yeah, if you're having people, well, if you're having people out, you know, Outside. you can still serve Socially this. Distant. What's nice about this is if you want, you could scale this up, right? Make like a pitcher of this? Make a pitcher of this. Mm. It's nice. And what I would simply do in that case is um, with the lemon juice, you might want to even get some kind of lemonade. Yeah. You know, or make a fresh lemonade. Seal test makes a very tasty lemonade, but it's I very, find it very sweet. sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. If you do the something like that, then you probably wouldn't want the simple syrup. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, when you muddle, you want to always muddle with some kind of liquid. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of liquid. Uh, but I love this the way it is. Uh, it's so it is gorgeous. It's a most tasty Ooh. cocktail. Yeah, some basil that came through. That's Even all right. though I double strained that. Well, Touch. son of a gun. Stuff happened. Oh, I think it might have been stuck to the, the cucumber. 
Or to the straw. Or to I the think straw, even. It was stuck to your straw. So don't. Oh, go, when I you don't go easy on on my friend here. <laughs> so um, that is the uh, the green again. I love the green. So it's green. You get the green. You have that sort of the cucumber and the basil in there, but you also have that beautiful sweet lemonadey taste. Cheers, my friends. Um, to whatever you're drinking. You and know? this will uh, put you on your butt. You but you, it might put, put, put you me on, on my butt. butt. Yeah. Um, because we sort of started this episode today thinking about wanting to do something with seafood. And I was trying to think what would go well. This, And I think this is, I love this drink because it goes so well with seafood. So actually some very simple, like what well, we're doing, salmon. But mm -hmm. if you're doing that kind of thing, even some shellfish, like shrimp and something like that, you have that. Lobster roll. It looks, it tastes so good with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, just drink so easily. Uh, I'm going to do something really, really quickly. Um, I'm going to interrupt our schedule. Oh, are you? Uh, after these messages, I'm going to get these we'll anyway. be right back. When we come back, we're going to make uh, this drink again, though, I want to say, yeah. and we're going we're gonna to do a slight variation on it. So. International symbol for variation. Yeah. You learned something new tonight. Um, I'm not going to jump right into our main um, recipe. The one thing I didn't uh, prepare you guys for, but I have on the counter, and I want to get it in the fridge, uh, I'm going to make a super, super quick sriracha mayo, okay? Oh. This is as easy as it sounds. In this little bowl, I have about a quarter cup of mayo. Uh, can I have a spoon, please? Yes, you can. Thank and you very much. By the way, Scott, that shit is refreshing. It's super duper. <laughs> um, the whole point of this is spicy mayo. So if you don't have sriracha at home and you want to mm -hmm. use wasabi powder or you want to use harissa or anything that's got a bit of a kick to it, you could probably also use um, like a Thai sweet chili sauce as well. So it's got the chili and the sweet in it. It's I am not the boss of your palate. So I happen to like my stuff a little spicy. Um, so into this quarter cup of mayo. We're going to bring I'm this in here. We're going to fly you over. We're going to fly me in. We're putting some sriracha in there and it's it's like starting to be one of the mottos of the show. You can always add but you can't take away. So you want to get that incorporated and take a look. Like I can tell already it's not spicy enough for me just from the how white and Karen it looks underneath. So hold on a second. Let's get that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Get that going. So, again, chacun a son goût. Everybody has their own taste bud situation. If you don't do spicy, that's cool too. Um, this uh, salmon burger recipe lends itself really well to um, like a lemony dilly tartar sauce as well, which uh, I probably should have thought to make uh, in addition to this, but. Lemony dilly tartar sauce, my favorite character from uh... To kill a mockingbird. Mm-hmm. Sure. But, um, <laughs> tray tray sampler, okay? Again, if you want to use Frank's Red Hot, I wouldn't, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit watery-er. This, at least, the sriracha has a little bit of, like, heft to it, so it mixes well. I'm just going to whack this back in the fridge because, as per, and if you weren't here in the first five minutes of our broadcast, uh, we have no AC right now. No. So I'm gonna put, so warm. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge for the moment. <laughs> um, if you've joined the show before, you've seen what we do. We always want to get you guys involved as much as possible. We always try and start off by doing the most obligatory thing possible, and that is to ask a simple question and see what you guys have to say about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's check in with our first question of the week. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, because our show is about seafood today, we're making an, um, some amazing salmon sliders. Um, what is your favorite seafood? I'm a, I'm a West Coast boy. Um, we're the, the show. We're we're in Canada. If you're not from here, or the show is being shot in Canada. Um, I'm originally from the West Coast, Vancouver, which is known very well for its seafood. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing seafood, and I do think that Vancouver has the best seafood in the world. In Montreal, we see a lot of food. Yes. But we're not um, a, a seafood. It took me a long time to find a good seafood place in the city. I think um, seafood places in Montreal masquerade a lot of the time. I 
either I'm thinking of two in particular as Greek restaurants mm -hmm. like Mythos on yeah. Park Avenue, um, where they're Greek but they're primarily seafood mm -hmm. and it's delicious. And then there's also places like La Sirene de la Mer, which is Lebanese, but also like But there's to also a uh, market, there, so. what's the there's the one on uh, I used to go to on Saint Laurent, the um, ad. Maestro. Maestro. That's the seafood. But not like we have and in Vancouver. And Notkins also no. for uh, oysters. And but uh, for, in Vancouver, we just have so many different seafood restaurants. Um, and Maybe one of the things, the my favorite uh, is um, uh, something that just you don't get out sort of other than on the West Coast and sort of Vancouver and down the Pacific Northwest is Dungeness Crab. I, anybody can tell me lobster is the most expensive, wonderful thing in the world, but there is nothing better in the world to me than Dungeness crab. It is delicious. We used to go camp out in Birch Bay when I was a kid, and my uncle would wade in with a, a hockey stick that he would had put a string around, and he would just go catch them out of the kelp beds. That's Literally, so you would see a man. Canadian man with a hockey stick flicking, flicking, crabs, out flicking crabs out of the ocean. And, and it's still to this day my favorite seafood. And it's funny because I'm, uh, as per the norm, if this is your first time tuning in, watch me zigzag, zigzag, and eventually get to the point. It's part of the game I play Love as a human. Life. Um, <laughs> he married me. Um, on one hand, we're doing fish. So does fish count as seafood? Because well, it's in the sea. It is in Some the of sea. It. it is food from the Some sea. But I, you know, again, I'm not a kosher. Do you have a very confused um, but again, I don't, palate? So, why tradi would because traditionally a lot of shellfish, shellfish like and seafood are two different things. Shrimp, yeah, but again, shellfish is of the sea. So, no, shellfish so, is sh fish that has shells that has a shell on it. I, I understand that, but again, <laughs> I think we're basically coming to the same point from two right. different perspectives. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, you know, fish for the most part is kosher. Shellfish is not kosher because mm -hmm. it's it's um yeah. scavenger. But I, I I love lobster, and I know it is the cockroach of the sea. And sometimes when and I, I love actually, lobster too. It's a good. It's a very very good thing. But I think it also has to do with where you're from, because like you just said, Dungeness crab. We get excited about other crab mm -hmm. here because it's what we have access to versus yeah. what you guys have access to on the west coast. But lobster. I lived, like I said, the other thing is I used to live in Halifax too, which is very well known for lobster. Mm -hmm. When you hit lobster season in Halifax, it's everywhere. It's so good. There's so much of it. It's dirt and cheap. It's great. That, to me, there's something about I love lobster, but when lobster is cheap, it's fantastic. I very rarely will buy lobster like out of rest. season. Yeah, you I know understand what I mean? that. But Dungeness crab, if Dungeness crab is there, I will generally Take buy it. Anytime, it. yeah. I think also for us, like we grew up in the summers, we went to Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. And Cape Cod, there's so many little, yeah. um, you know, seafood shacks where you could get a yeah. know, Cape Cod lobster roll or a clam chowder or whatever. That So to me, it, I associate it with like summer and the seaside. And there's just something fresh and delicious and outside. And, and again, as as a Montrealer, when you're uh, inside six months of the year, this is like... Yeah, I know, and I get that. That's a very different mentality. Yeah. Let's, see what the, over there. let's see what the other people are saying over here. Hey! Uh, oh, hey, good morning, Baron. I'm saying to see it. Ruby Rose loves Cantonese lobster. I love Cantonese yes. lobster. If you love Cantonese lobster, do it with uh, Dungeness Crab. It's even better. Uh, also, shrimp and lobster sauce. Uh, shrimp and lobster sauce. Yeah. Very little seafood and all of that. But delish. <laughs> uh, actually, the blood of shrimp, yeah. Snails, does it count? Well, I guess that they're sea snails. And most snails you buy are sea snails. Escargot often in my brain falls into under the banner. Yeah, of... but you can get land snails and sea snails. Okay, but I've never shopped for eating snails no. before. Like when you go to the I think the, the, majority, snailery, the majority of them are sea snails. Them? Are sea snails. By the way, at a a snailery? snailery? No, that's where you get your snails done. The escargoterie? <laughs> When you go there, can you say to them, I want land snails or I want <laughs> sea snails? Sea, sea base or sea bass, Diane? Sea base. You know, because it's all about sea base. It's all about sea base. <laughs> sea base. Uh, Why do I see a little fish with like big headphones on, <laughs> on the back of like a crab shell, you know? Um, um, I'm an asshole. Donata so. loves garlic, sh deliciously garlic shrimp. So is it deliciously garlic or is it deliciously garlic shrimp? And like 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 shrimp scampi style, or, yeah, or like barbecue styles. Mm. 
Anything, any combination of garlic and shrimp is just And great. butter. And it's, butter. It's, yeah, those three like things. Garlic and butter in general should, like, belong together. Yeah. I think they were invented at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Diane. There we uh -huh. are. <laughs> <laughs> and Baron said he'll ask next time he is at the snailery. Thank you. Fantastic. Do you... Uh, now what we're going to do, now let's go back here and figure out what we're going to do. I was going to tell Diane that. Oh, you can tell her over here. Hi. Acceptance is the first step. You know, for not eating, I probably shouldn't have drank that so fast. For not eating, I expected you to drink that that fast. Oh, I know. I'm that's starving. The, that's the shit that, ha oh, that's the stuff that algorithms. That's, that's, the, shit, that's the stuff that that's algorithms the are made of. stuff Boom. that algorithms are made of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, where are we at? What do we want to do? We I will take a look over here. Let's take here. a look. We discreetly. Usually, discreetly as you as I do. stand on camera and look at the paper. Oh, I know uh, who's up next. Oh, yeah? Oh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. It's we that have time. a drink. We're a little bit uh, tipsy here, you already. Know what? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need any more. I want to stay somewhat sober. For El sure. Diablo says you're wrong. Well, divine El Diablo one, so says drink more. The divine one is in, has a modicum of uh, the of divine control. one. Yeah. Yes, um, ladies and gentlemen. Every show we love to bring you the very best uh, that food and cocktails has to offer. And when we had the opportunity to jump at one of the world's greatest chefs. And bring him on to the show. For your viewing for pleasure your, and educational. So that you could learn to do things far beyond the the the, 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 the realm object. of what you thought was possible. And ladies and gentlemen, we searched the world over. We found that chef, and he is here once again to wow you with not only his technique and his palate, but his style and his panache. Oh panache. He has a panache. He's got panache? Panache. Ladies and gentlemen. He's got panache with his ganache. He's got ganache panache. Ganache panache, huh? I think Osh, that's... Osh, bosh, bagosh. panache. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, this, doing something that I'm sure we won't even be able to fathom. Words might not be able to express. We may have to sing the description. We might. Or interpretive dance it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I, I made water fly. The, oh, we gotta wait. We gotta... We can't... Oh, We are on, we so... Gotta, so uh, here you can take that one. Is that my lefty? Uh, sure. You've got to. Well, you've got to have the. No other side. That's my righty. I don't. I don't know what it was. That's why I said I. I don't actually know left from right. Righty tighty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to the amazing, the wonderful Chef Duyan. Who's got the mic? Is what I Chef Duyan. Chef Duyan. Oh, oh no! Oh. Also break. There he is. Oh, voila. How are you, Chef Duyan? I'm good. How about you? Good, good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Well, that's excellent. Excellent. Yeah, how's everything? Oh, you know, it's warm where we are. How is it where you are? I'm sure you are in somewhere that is I'm cold. It's cold. I am cold. Oh. You poor, poor dear. Yes. Tell us what yeah. that's like. I remember the cold. So, Chef Diane, what do you have for us today? What are you going to wow our viewers with today? Today we're doing something special. Oh. It's called pineapple jello in a can. Sorry. I'm sorry, you, about, you cut out there a bit. Did you say pineapple jello? In a can? In a can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have once again let us down, but... What else can we do? But in no, the most no, no. creative way. No, no, I'm, I'm very curious as to how the jello gets in the can. Yes, yeah, so fair. Exactly. Maybe, it, maybe it just forms. Right. Uh, it's a pretty special recipe. So, first thing we need to do, we need to do the jello. I choose lime jello because I feel like lime goes well with pineapple for some reason. So, first thing first, open the pouch. Mm -hmm. Put. The powder in the bowl. Powder in the bowl. Yes. Very important step. Uh, then after that, we're going to need... Chef the... Diane, I'm sure yeah. our viewers are wondering, uh, does pineapple jello exist? Could you have done this with pineapple jello, for example? Uh, I believe so. I personally never encountered pineapple jello so, yet. So you, you, you decided to make pineapple jello in a can, and you don't know if there's such a thing <laughs> as pineapple jello? <laughs> well, I know there's pineapple 
Jello with pineapple. Uh, we we also oh, believe that pineapples exist in the world. If that's what you're saying. Yes, yeah, <laughs> uh, we will agree with that Toronto. completely. <laughs> we can all agree. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, once the powder is in the bowl, mm -hmm. we're gonna open the pineapple can. <laughs> oh, sorry, that got me. Very quickly. Yeah. Excellent. Impressive. So for those of you just tuning in, we have a packet of lime jello in a bowl. We are currently watching the Michelin chef, Duyan, <laughs> open his can of, uh, is it crushed pineapple? Is it so pineapple? This, oh, it's sliced pineapple. Sliced pineapple. So you, and you, you. Right? First thing first, is it, we're going to remove the liquid. Is it great value brand again, Chef Duyan? Pardon me. Uh, the brand. I was wondering if it was great, great Talk value, great value again. Uh, no, it's a select. Oh. oh, so so you didn't feel like you should buy a I don't know pineapple. Well, why buy the pineapple no. when I mean, when Metro puts it in well, the I guess can he, for you? He will need a can. He will need the can. I'm sorry. You can't make pineapple jello I, in a pineapple. I think you should just listen to Chef Duyan and let him do his thing. We apologize, <laughs> Chef Duyan. I think he's drunk so after one cocktail. What else we need this is, is <laughs> cup of warm water. Hot water. Cup of hot water. Mm -hmm. uh, so, can I get it there? Yannick Dehe, it's coming. Yeah. You're hilarious. That's We're going to so, get into that. It's happening soon. That's hysterical. Mm -hmm. So, a cup of hot water. Cup of hot water. Yeah. Put it in the yeah. bowl. Okay. Cup of hot water in a bowl of lime jello with pine. Now you have the pineapple. Now you mix because uh, you need to dissolve all the jello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make make sure the powder is gone and it's all liquid. Yep. We're gonna mix it. So no, I'd like to. I'd like to take more than one man. One or I know. Two we're gonna pretend for the audience. No, I'm, I'm watching the audience and I'm watching Chef Dian. I'm trying to have both experiences. Oh, okay. Fair. The disseminator exactly. and the. It's very important to follow the steps. Yes. True. It's true. You you wouldn't want to accidentally get part of this wrong. Like the stirring part. <laughs> exactly. So once it's done, we're gonna put uh, for safety measure. We're gonna put the Jello back in the measuring okay. cup. Okay. Jello back in the measuring cup. And then we're going to take the jello from the measuring cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it in our can in with the slice pan. Oh. Wow, I didn't realize how fancy we were getting here. So uh, directly right into the can yes, with the slice pineapple in goes the slimer jello, yeah? Exactly. Oh. So once it's in, you put it in the fridge for about depending from 10 minutes to four hours, but uh, mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's going to be ready in like 20 minutes. Oh, well, so we will have we to will check, check, back. check in to Chef see Diane. what is going on. Chef Diane, once again, yeah. you have utterly amazed us. My pleasure. We'll see, see you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef Diane. We'll see you in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Chef Doyen. It was Chef Doyen. He was he put the Jello Man. The Jello Chef in a Diane can. The Jello Man. So I, I, Jello in a can. we have complained. We we have complained. No, complain is a strong word, but I, I I think it may be appropriate. We have said that he has this technique. Yet I find not only has he stuck to Jello, but he is now at a point where he's not even taking things out of cans. This could be a bonus. This is this is in my mind. This could be a pro or a con. It, it really is. depends how you look and, at and it. And here's the thing that I think upsets me the most. Are you upset right now? Uh, upsets me the most. And what upsets me is that all of the things he's made, I utterly want to eat. I just I love Jello so much. It's ridiculous. And. Uh, You know, I feel dis. I feel. I feel, I feel bad about myself. I feel like I'm having a moment, like like I'm having a moment of self-realization. It's, it's terrible. This, this might be. We we might look back at this episode as the <laughs> night that Dan lost the plot a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I have. I've got all the plots. Don't You've worry. You've got many plots. Um, 
I love it. Better than sick. Yes, 10 minutes to four hours is a fairly long <laughs> it's a general. Uh, it's a very time. general lag but you do you um at about 10 minutes it should probably start to set yes probably best for an hour but i'm not going to step on chef duyan's toes no and again you might have for instance you may have one of those refrigerators that is sub-zero <laughs> that is like literally so cold burn your tits off burn your tits <laughs> off make some salmon sliders Maybe we should do that. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, my love for you. We wife. broke Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All right, friends, can you do me one favor? Yes, Please darling. Love. In this in the um Ooh, how did I I ate today. Why am I feeling tipsy? Can you pass me the salmon, please? And might you pass me a bowl? A bowl. Friends! Hi. So we got the bring we ingredients about, up here. Um, we have about a pound of salmon here. Um, a couple of minutes before we started, I rinsed it. I patted it dry. You want to get some of the extra scaly stuff off. The ingredients are up there. Because I bought mine not at a fish market but at the grocery store, there is skin on this. We are going to remove the skin. Um, before we start, we're going to get in there, and we're just going to use a super sharp knife. We're gonna try as best we can not to waste, right? Like we wanna get as close to the skin as possible. That could have used a fly cam, but I am gonna go easy on my husband tonight because drunk is happening. Um, I know what you're doing. I'm just being a douche. So we're gonna get right close to that again and we're gonna take the skin off. I am a big fan, it took me years and years, but like when you do salmon on the barbecue, I'm all for eating the skin. If it's clean and stuff, we got a little bit extra here to take off there. Our knives are sharp, but they're not fishmonger sharp, so I'm just gonna try to grab. You're also using one. I'm also using one now? A big knife. Are we, I would am, you want to use like a scaling knife or a. I don't have a scaling knife really, but oh. I'm gonna use this, uh, some little guy. Anyway, this is fine for the moment. We're good, okay? You guys know I'm, I'm an ish cook. Um, here, I'll take this little guy in here and try to get everybody who's a professional chef is like gagging at home that I'm using a serrated knife. But I'm just trying to get this out of here. Dan, could you get out of my face? Thanks. <laughs> you want me to come here? No, but now, Jeepers, I'm getting, creepers. now I'm getting embarrassed. I am I'm not, not even right. going to listen to oh, you. Do not even <laughs> listen to me. Um, all right, so we've taken the skin off, Groovy. I'm going to bend that. Awesome possum. We're gonna take our pieces of salmon and we're gonna cut about um, an inch by an inch piece, like pieces. So we're gonna chop that. We're gonna chop that. That's good. So then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go an inch, about an inch. I'm cheating because I have, um, I actually have, um, One lines and dimensions on my cutting board. So um, I know I look super cool. I'm cheating. Um, I'm not cheating, that's using the tool. I'm using the tool, according, <laughs> according to Dan. I'm muting myself. So. <laughs> no, don't. I don't want you to mute yourself. This is, this is good fun. As you're doing this, if you come across any small bones, now's a good time to take them out. Um, we are also going to be throwing this in the food processor because we wanted to chop finer than this. If you do not have a food processor, not a big deal. You're just going to want to cut this salmon like smaller than what I'm doing now. I'm doing this in prep um, to throw it in the little food processor. Sorry. I'm scaly. Um, here we go. What are you laughing at? He's standing off camera laughing at me, everybody, <laughs> and it's not nice. It's very not nice. All right. Someone it. can feel free to get mad at Divine Danny D. Yeah, via, get mad at me. I via chats. Get mad at me. I'd be I down. I dare you. I'm down. All right. So we're just going to chop this. And um, is there, do you prefer, uh, like, I think this is Atlantic salmon. We mostly get Atlantic salmon out here. Do you prefer Atlantic or Pacific? 
I feel that Could sometimes you know the these questions aren't fair. Yeah, specific tends to be a lot. I find it a lot pinker, um, like redder almost. But you ask what we prefer, but given that we've, like Montreal, for those of you who are not familiar well, with Well, Atlantic salmon is technically a, a species. I understand it, but yeah. it's also way more uh, readily available here where I grew yeah. up than, you know, we're on, we're not on the coast, but we're yeah. on the east coast of Canada-ish, mm -hmm. the east side of Canada, so, like, we don't get a lot of Pacific salmon. We get... Oh, hey, Embido just joined. Hi, guys. How, how are you, Embido? Um, Embido, Embido, 90. I don't know how to, how do I sell that, say that, Embido? Uh, it's good to see, thank you for joining us for the first time. Um, hey, um, no, I, I find what, the West Coast, we get a lot of different kinds. Uh, the coho is probably my favorite. I find it's the most salmon-y. You get that sort of really. Yeah, but you like your fish to take, taste more like fish. I do, I do. I do like a very fishy fish. Yeah, I'm not. Get that out of your way. Hold on. I'm sorry, I never used this one. This is not mine. When we got married, we combined a bunch of our... That's not mine either. Well, then where did this come from? I don't know. Whose is this? I thought it was yours. Where did we steal this from? This has got to go this way. Thank you. Oh, oh it's going this way. See? There you are. There we go. We're going to chop that up. We don't want to over chop this. What are you looking for? What kind of consistency? I'm going to show you in a minute if you can grab me a spatula and the fly cam. Yeah. Okay. Here is... Spatula. I'm going to find a spatula first. Oh, there's a spatula. There's a spatula. Um, and we're coming in with a it's fly chopped. can. It's chopped. You know what I mean? It's, it's chopped. It's not um, in big chunks. It's pretty It's pretty chopped. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, so you're looking... It's a, it's a finer mince. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want to kill it. Like, you don't want to desecate it. No, you, know? you, you don't just, want it to be, a, like, just a, a, a pure a mush. A mush. Oops. I, like baby food. Like, yeah, it's not baby food. You want some texture in there. Yep. So we're going to get that out, and I'm just going to do that. See, that little piece can stay in there. All right. We're going to get that out, and I'm going to do this one more time with the remaining salmon. Oops. There we go. There we go. Throw some more of that in there. Two, two. I actually needed a, a, a bowl, hun. Like you a want mixing, a bowl? Like a mixing bowl. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We can use this one for now. Chop, 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 chop. Like a larger bowl? Like a, the yellow bowl? Maybe yeah, that sure. The, yellow the, bowl. Bowl. the pink salmon will show up nicely in it. Oh, it's true. Here, let me get that. Off. I never used oh. to. Oh, yes, sir, was so Attention. close. So close. There you go. I never used to think about the aesthetics of how my pink salmon would look as I was cooking it, but now yeah. these are things I worry about. Now, now we have to think about. Now these we things. think about pleasing this is you what happens, visually. Exactly. This is what happens when you have people the, to please. The number one cooking show on Stir Crazy. Um. <laughs> Last little bit here. I'm gonna throw that in there. Um, can you do these with anything but salmon? Like, would you um, do trout? Would you do, uh, like a well, bass? Well, trout, trout has a very similar, um, texture. texture to salmon. I think it would be really nice with trout. I wouldn't use, um, why I like this with salmon. Sorry, my, I got fish fingers. <laughs> oh. And custard? Uh, no, just fish, fish fingers. Fish fingers and custard, anyone? Anyone? No. Come on. Sorry. It's a Doctor Who reference. All right, good for you and Doctor Who, but no, I've just got greasy, oily salmon, omega-3 oil fingers. Um, I wouldn't use a super delicate fish no. for this. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't use a tilapia. I wouldn't use a cod. I would use monkfish um, for this. Really nice. I don't, I'm not so familiar with monkfish. Oh, you don't get a lot of monkfish out here, do you? See, again. No. I always forget. I've been here, I've been here for over 10 years, and I, and I still, it's so much, it's funny how much of my life is still tied back to monkfish. I think it, it all depends, obviously, on where you grow up and what you're used to, right? Like, um, you know, growing up for us, it, like, I love tuna, mm -hmm. but I love raw. Oh, well, first of all, actually, that's a lie. I love tuna in all of its forms. I love slightly seared tuna. I love raw tuna. I love tuna in a can. Um, I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> but um, I do love my tuna. But then again, when we go for sushi, I don't like anything that tastes too fishy. Yes. Like, I'm very funny Which is with odd if, you, if you're going to go for sushi, in my opinion. That's fair. All right. We all good? How's everybody doing? Everybody Everybody's good. good. Everybody's uh, fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, in this bowl, we have the about... The number one Sanka set in Montreal, according to Audrey Oh, well, thank you, Audrey Ivory. Yes. No other Sanka sets. <laughs> 
Um, <clears throat> into this bowl, which is we've got. Uh, bring a, the fly cam back uh, in for you. Hold on, let me just. I have one or two things that are still in the fridge. Even seen there. Here is the fly cam for those of you who have, have only had the 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 joy of experiencing, of experiencing it. it. Experiencing it. We're now going to. Uh, here it is, so you guys can see. It's really just weird. It's so funny. One day we'll do a um, a walkthrough of our uh, our setup here. Um, well, we decided to do this. It was very odd, but we realized we don't really have a lot of camera. The cameras that I had were quite old. So we are literally shooting almost an entire show on phones. Well, we are shooting the entire No, we have, show. still have oh. the cam off of the computer. Or the chat cam. The chat cam, but everything else is phones. We have, we're, and we're going to be adding another one soon. Giddy up. Giddy up, why? Stay tuned. Who knows? All right, so here's the deal. Into this pound of chopped salmon, we have a tablespoon of Dijon and a tablespoon of mayo. I'm using low fat because these salmon burgers are supposed to be guilt free. Welcome, Francois Martin. He's his first, his, his first time here, he said. Well, welcome. Oh, bienvenue, I will, I, will, I will move the fly cam so you don't see into our dirty sink. Um, yes, that is good. So we've got a tablespoon of Dijon, a tablespoon of low fat mayo. I am adding a tablespoon of chopped. I'm using garlic chives because I left my house and went to the Asian market the other day. You can mm, use regular chives. chives. Are good. Um, that's that. To this, we are also going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. Do 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 do. Wah, wah. That's the soy sauce song. <laughs> and it's also the Green Acres song. It's also the Green Acres song. <laughs> it's weird how that works. Um, out. I'm also just going to pop over here. All right. The recipe calls for a teaspoon of um, sesame oil. If you are not a fan of sesame oil, back off a tiny bit because I find this to be extremely pungent. It will overpower And it's, um, yeah, it's quite overpowering. Plus, um, I just noticed that ours is a little expired, but let's just hope for the best. I don't so, have to tell them. I just noticed this it, though. So if we drop dead, everybody knows it's from bad... Sesame oil. I think there's a lot of reasons around sure, right she, now. Sure, it's bad sesame oil. All right, can we main cam that for yep, a sec? Sure. Thank you. We're just going to stir that up. Giddy up, giddy up. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper in a Do you second. Need the salt? Just, um, no. Not at all. So I don't way. know if anyone's cooking with us. If you are and you've added the sesame oil, you can tell. I love the smell of sesame oil, though. It is so. I it, sesame. I, I love Asian food. I love Asian food too, but I find um, there to me there's a certain sense and that sesame oil f aroma or aroma or aroma is just one of my favorites. See, and I'm more partial for example to like um, the fish sauce aroma because it's it's saltier or oh, um, Thai basil. Thai basil I think is my favorite Asian ingredient yeah, yeah. aroma ever, but Mm -hmm. So we got that. That's incorporated. Um, I'm going to add a tiny bit of salt and pepper. If you're watching your salts for diabetes or heart purposes, you've already got soy sauce in there, so you don't mm -hmm. you don't need to go crazy. Um, you got some pepper. fresh ground pepper. This is not just any fresh ground pepper. Oh. This is Cambodian. Campot pepper, so it's a little bit spicier. Thank good. you. It's really good. Celesta Oli and Eric Jourdain and Monique Huang. Thank you and Mark yeah. for introducing us to the beauty that is Cambodian pepper. I'm going to give that one more little stir ski. Mm-hmm. Boop -a -da boop 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 boop. Now we're making sliders, but this could also be for a regular okay. size. So I was about to get oh, it. That's so, so fun. No, no, you are fine on your segue. I'm helping. If um, if you don't want sliders, we're doing a sec set, guys. So traditionally, we try to do stuff that's a bit more appetizer oriented. Um, this makes a great dinner. So it's just a question of once you have this mixed up like this, how do you want to present it? If you want to make burger like full size burgers out of this, you'll probably get about four decent sized salmon burgers. We're gonna do sliders because they're cute and mini. Um, and yeah, so could you, now can you grab me a regular plate? A and regular plate. I have over here about a third, un tiers, une tasse, a third of a cup of um, sesame seeds. Yeah, let's move this so I can see. We're gonna move that over. I'm also going to, just for good measure, give these a little wash ski. 
Just in case the salmon just, has COVID. Just in case the salmon has COVID. But also because I'm about to stick my hands in here and make patties. It's so. also it's also a very it's a very true fact that um, salmon are not specifically known for their social distancing. No, they're um, not. They're <laughs> very bad they, at it. You know why? They didn't learn it in school. Uh, ah! <laughs> These are the Come jokes. for the cooking, stay for the comedy. <laughs> comedy will happen anytime now. Soon, soon. Oh, my, my mom just showed up. Hi, mom. She's late. You missed one drink, but it's all right. We'll it's make right. more. I'm sure she didn't miss one drink. Mary, <laughs> have you already had a drink? Oh, uh, all right. So. So I'm just making. Do you want any? Um, Parchment or anything to put those on? Or? No, I'm just going to put these on a plate right now. Okay. I'm eyeballing this. Um, it's a slider, so you kind of want to think maybe the size of a... Let's bring the buns out. A small sure. meatball. A 50 meatball. Uh, that was my nickname in high school. Little meatball? Little meatball. And on the Jersey Shore. About right. Adorable little bun. I think Audrey just fired your mother. I'm not sure from what, but I saw out of the corner of my eye that your mother has been fired. Uh, um, I'm sure she's fine with that. <laughs> sound is very messed up. What's messed up about the sound? Mike is bad now. Who's Mike? Oh, let me just take a quick gander here. Um, everything's fine. My mic or Dan's mic? Well, we can't tell. Let's go with. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm cut off there. Just Sorry. Uh, let's see what's going on. Really, that bad here on any of my tech. So um, you keep going. Just keep I, talking. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Hmm. We're gonna keep making little patties. Yeah, sound is no bueno. Um, let me just take a quick gander over here because, according to what we're seeing, it's looking fine. Very loud squealing. I heard the squealing also in the corner of my ear. Oh, really? If ears have a corner. Oh, you know what happened? That is the fact that my microphone dropped down. Out of the way. How about now? Is that better? Let us know if that fixed anything. Basically, my microphone dropped all the way out. Ow, ow, ow. Very loud squealing. I don't like all that. All right, let's see if we can fix this. Um, better? Uh, better as in like 100% better, better, better or like better. ish? Just quickly, just run it. Just quickly listen to it here. Better is relative, like better than screeching isn't good, but like better fixed is okay. So let us know. Thank you for your patience. I'm just going to keep making sliders here. Who's coming for sliders right. after the show? This is way too much there we go. food for us. Excellent. Thank you, Gab. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you, Donata. And Diane. Sorry about that, guys. L is working, Audrey, by the way. One day we will get this uh, sound 100% flawless. And then we'll lose picture or something. So, yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not making promises. Okay, so you guys can see, like, this is part of the reason why I don't eat salmon sushi, personally. I find raw salmon very, very oily. So you can see, in, I mean, it's very good for you. These are all omega, um, omega, omega-3 omega three fats. This is very good for your heart. But some people don't, I'm one of them, I'll eat it smoked, I'll eat Gravlax, but I find raw salmon to be so unbelievably oily. Um, but again, everybody to their mouth feel. <laughs> um, meaning what makes sense for your tongue and palate doesn't necessarily make sense for mine, and that's what makes the world go round, my friends. Well, I'm not really talking, so I don't know why my mic isn't working. Dan hadn't spoken yet. I was just, I, I was hogging the airwaves. He was just making things happen. Just stop talking. Hi. Oh, I don't know. I'll, you know what I did? I turned my mic down for Audrey, and then I turned that off. Yes, my mic is working now. Go on. All right. Oh. So, le voila. They're mostly ish even. I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not so fussed. I really am not. As long as I fit on the bun, that makes me happy. Can you hit me with some water? And a, yes. and a spritz of soap, please. There you go. And a soap. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. There you go. Those were some oily fish hands. Um, that was my name. Yeah, there you are. All right, so. Those are going to sit for a bit. We are going to actually very quickly... I'm going to take a third of a cup of sesame seeds. If you do not like sesame seeds, you actually don't need these. They're not essential. We're just going to sprinkle our sliders. 
a little bit. There we are. Yep. And again, this isn't super precise. I'm sure somewhere somebody's going, but it should be super precise. I don't care. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. Yeah. I am not the boss of you. So yeah, I'm just going to get those on there. Only on one side. We're only going to sesame one side. There we go. Very nice. They're lovely. They are very lovely. I'm just going to dump these in the fridge for a few minutes just because I, yeah. Yeah, I want them to firm up a tiny bit, especially because it's so bloody hot in here. And um, if you guys were doing these as burgers, you can do them in a skillet, which is what we're going to do, but you can also do them on the barbecue. Um, you just want to make sure your barbecue is nice and greased up so that you don't leave half the fish yeah. burger on the grill, yeah, you know? Sure. Um, but there we go. That is that. All right. Cool. Ta-da. You want to fly? Do you want to just take I'll, a... I'll, fly that well, you can take a quick overhead quick, well, if you think it's, if you think it's pretty enough. I'm not sure, but, uh, there yeah, there are. you go, guys. Look at the beautiful sound. C'est pas Love plus it. compliqué que ça. It's pretty Boom. easy. So I'm going to just put these in the fridge. I'm going to take the salmon off my counter. You do that. And, uh, yeah. All right. While you guys are back, we always have more, more, more shows. How do you like it? And How do you is, like it? Uh, and every show we like to bring up. We have so many of our great friends. Right? Fussing with this mic right now. Um, but we always have so many, so many amazing uh, people who uh, work with us on the show. Um, we have uh, we already had Chef Duyan on. I'm a fan of Chef Duyan. You are a fan of Chef Duyan. That is true. Um, but also, we have the amazing and wonderful Galadriel Caress. It's still close. Audrey, I, uh -huh. I, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> also, Gab. I can see it from here. It's a little. Uh, I turned the volume down because you had a problem with it being too loud before. Now it's too quiet. There's always one. You know, every Audrey, group has one. Audrey, Audrey, stop being that one. And Gab, good giggles. Thank you for that. Um, every show we like to bring the beautiful Gladriel caress. We do to eat food sexily. Sexily for one minute uno, alone. Uno. Uno minute. Uno minute. Today is no exception. Do it. You thought she was gone. We resurrected her. She is back. Just want to be a Muppet because of our promo. If you weren't here last week, go back and see last week's episode. Yes, we're not going to give it away. We're going to push you to our very, situation. very important. Indeed. So the canon that is the sexual mini uh, uh, one minute. This is all in canon. Oh wait. Hello. No. Oh. Do you guys hear that, or is it just me? Because I hear a thing. Mic issues, yep. It's good I have good ears. Shitty eyes. Good rack. Just switching my... Good ears. Switching my channel. Oh, hola, Cristina. ¿Qué tal, amiga? Uh, 
Yeah, it's Dan's mic. So you know what? A bonus. Ha, All right. Ha, I How is this? I've that actually, seems better. I just I, switched the channel. That seems better. I now. sabotaged him. I just wanted to be alone with you guys. Just me and you and you. You guys hear that better now? And I me. hope oh, that I feel like half of the show is me running around trying to fix the sound. <laughs> Uh, Did we change the blanket on the set? Yes, we totally yes. have everything to do with we producing that We have so much segment. control over that. Um, oh, oh my, my pardons. We have, we already asked one question today. Let's ask another question. Let's ask another. I'm sweating like a, like a sweaty Like person. a whore in church. No? Algorithm. Like, uh. Like, the, like Diablo in church. Like Diablo in church. Um, like Diablo at the Vatican. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we've already asked our first question today. We asked people what their favorite seafood was. Very important. I think we're going to check in and see what their favorite, uh, what, what the next question is today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the next question for you. We know what your favorite seafood is, but what is your favorite seafood? Sea your food that starts with sea. That starts with sea. I think that was, that was inspired by our, our, our adventures in Muppetdom. Are we calling it that? Adventures in Muppetdom? Our Sesame Street uh, adventures. So what's your favorite seafood? My favorite then? seafood, probably, and it's funny because it goes back to my favorite seafood, which is crab. Oh, so you get two for one. I get two for one. I didn't have to really overthink that one. Though, I will also say probably even more than crab, cheese. Yes, cheese is a C word. It is a C word. Any, almost any kind of cheese I will go with. I don't like, I don't like wine cheeses. <laughs> stop, stop reading and talk to the people. <laughs> Sorry. You're very, and sometimes, I, you're very. I'm very, sometimes very distractible all I the time. I feel like we, we take your phone away for two hours a week. And you still have to That's check in. That's not fair. <laughs> that is not fair. I see some people that I really enjoy um, popping up in, the, in my peripheral vision. But you can talk to them right and here. I am, but I want to have a, con, a, a converse with them, well, you not, just a, a con just, not just a monologue. A converse. We're going converse, we're monologue. Converse. What, so what is your favorite seafood? You have not told us yet. I have not told us. Um, I'm actually also going to vote for cheese. Ah. Also, oh, you just wanted to steal my idea. No, I don't. But if I had to come in with a close second, cucumber. Cucumber, yep, really? I, do, I could eat cucumber by the foot long. By the foot long. As long as there's good salad dressing. Good. I love it. I, I mean, let's cucumber. be honest. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what those people have to say. What is their favorite seafoods? Uh, what do we got over here? Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheap food. <laughs> yeah. Baron. Cheap food. He likes that. C is for cookie. Thank you very much. It's that good enough work. for you, Joe. More cheese. Everybody loves cheese. Uh, that's a... A lot of people using this. Audrey, the I don't, I don't and know. Gab. And Gab. And Gab. Rhymes with stunt. We appreciate you, you guys. There we go. Why did it take so long for you to watch us, guys? I agree with you, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, so good to see you back. Chocolate, Chocolate cake, cake double C word. Hold on, like Chanel, let's do it. Oh, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> we made a logo. Yeah, it's good. We, we, we logoed. We logoed. Uh, that's a phenomenal. Any other C, word, C words? Any other C words? <laughs> Any other seafoods? Let us know. Send us your favorite ones. Um, let's uh, head back, head back and over here. Um, uh, we have you just saw this pop up. We uh, we have a little message we throw up every now and then into the the chat. Um, so many people have asked us if they, how they can help us out, which we really appreciate. And, by the way, uh, so we just thought we'd put something in there for people so that we didn't have to. I, we don't ever want to feel like we're, we're we're begging for stuff because. But it's so amazing that you guys. We've had so many people. Be really supportive and uh, really amazing. supportive. Get involved. Um, we've had uh, people buy amazing things off our wish list. This week we got another new batch of we did stuff. So we shout out our friendly. Yeah. So we got. Uh, we want to thank uh, Olivier Dufour. Olivier Dufour. Audrey Ivory. Audrey Ivory. Uh, 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 Donna De Luca. Donata De Luca. Donata De Luca. Uh, Missy Chef, Portugal and Chef Duyan and Chef Duyan. They sent all us some microphones. Sent us some, a, a new uh, a new boom mic, which apparently we're not using now. <laughs> we're we're gonna, gonna figure out how to gonna work. It. We're gonna work with that. Uh, but uh, and this lovely uh, new. Uh, I don't know how you splash me. I don't know exactly how. Uh, and this lovely new uh, Boston shaker set that we use today. 
So yeah. thank you very much, along with uh, 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 Silly Couture and yes. Mom. and Roger. And Roger sending us other stuff in the, in the past. Thank you very much. We totally appreciate it. Um, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be sending you a gift in the near Coming future. Coming soon. Coming soon. We to have a mailbox near you. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that, and uh, there'll be a lovely gift in your in the, in the future for all of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the kind of thing. Also, like I'm very funny about the internet fundraising, and Dan and I um, don't always agree on this, but there's no pressure. I mean, we are happy no. to be here for you guys. We we're going to do this either way. We're going to do this either way. We really this is not to take away also how much we appreciate the people who have sent us stuff, but. If you just want to like roll up on Thursdays at five and hang out and and yep. be part of this, that there is zero Buy pressure means, whatsoever. Yeah. So like, thank you for those who have contributed. Thank you for those who have contributed just by being yep. here. So, mwah. merci beaucoup. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Again, if you if if you want to know, we have a link up there. It gives us a quick link to our our Amazon wish list, and also a quick link to our tip jar. Um, mm -hmm. So. We and there's more double C words popping up. Oh, there. there's more double C words. Can't. Ah, well, let's leave Audrey to. Uh, <laughs> Monsieur Nicolas Jolicoeur, <laughs> t'es bien fancy. Ah, it's true. Also, welcome. Good. That works. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, we are going to. We did that. I'm sorry, I want to go on to. Uh, oh, you make fun of me for having my. Oh, I, on I the, totally. On the live, but yes. Now Oh, it's also that's the other. I knew we were trying to do something else because that's what we haven't done before. But we have so many people who are having birthdays. The oh, past yes. holidays. Uh, yesterday was my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Matt. Matt Dirksen, how happy birthday to you. Uh, today we have a few friends who are birthed. We have. We have uh, um, Crystal. Crystal Harrison. Happy birthday, Crystal Harrison. She is 109 today. And uh, Alex Gagnon. Alex Gagnon is 438. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday, all you groovy folks having birthdays today and yesterday. And oh. if we missed you, maybe tomorrow and the day after. Happy birthday to you. I, I worry now that we did that, that we only mentioned a few people. Oh, don't take it personal. That, that, no, but I'm worried we created a romper room tragedy situation. A romper room tragedy? The, the romper room tragedy. I think every kid who watched romper room as a child had that point where the she looked in the mirror and named all the kids she shot today. And if your name was never listed there. Suicide? Why, why exist? That's okay, well, we didn't mean to do that, so I will be more vigilant with making sure I know everybody's birthday all exactly. the time. Exactly. Um, while we're doing that, we're going we're gonna to make another cocktail. Oh, that's exactly what we need. Yes. One we're going to make some more cocktails. I will get you your ice. Yeah, please do. Baby. <laughs> and can you also grab me the limoncello? Limoncello. So we're going to do uh, For my the, uh, the, the same thing uh, this time. But, and while you can you also go over there and grab me the ice bag? Is that what you don't call your wife names? So, Lynn and Shello, we are going to take the cucumber again. There we are. There we go. So, we are going to make this. If you hadn't seen the cocktail already, we're going to go through it one more time. Um, whoops, that's not the one I want. Where is the. I threw everything in here. You didn't leave me my knife. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, you did. Um, all right. So we are going to start off, actually, because I'm going to do this over crushed ice. So I have this lovely little bag here, this little burlap bag that we will put a few ice cubes in so that we can crush them. So we're going to do that. Boom. Uh, can you give me the, the mallet, please? Sure. What mallet? The, the meat tenderizer would be fine. I don't know that we have one up here. Yes, anymore. we do. You bought one the other day. We bought one. I've used it already. Oh, there you go. Wow, fancy. There we are. Uh, if you don't have one of these, these are great. I got. I think this one came as a gift. I bought some uh, bourbon. Uh, basically, it's just a, a canvas bag. Uh, it's got some magnets to keep it closed. And I'm just gonna. Wow, that's probably loud. I'm gonna just quickly uh, mute that for a second so that you don't have to hear me banging. That. That's what she said. So why don't you talk to them while I mute oh. my microphone? Oh, okay. Well, you I can was, keep talking over there. I was hiding over you here in our hideout. Do that one. Yeah, this. All right, Dan is bashing some ice. 
Um, which is a great way to relieve some tension uh, in these strange, strange days. Uh, I'm pretty sure my mic is picking up his banging. Words I never thought I would say on a live broadcast ever. Look at him. He splooshed his ice right across the counter. Yeah. And he's back. I'm back. There we are. So there I have just a nice bag of crushed ice. I will keep that in there. While I'm doing that, I'm going to make my drink. So one more time, I'm just going to grab my cocktail glass and we are going to cut up six pieces of cucumber. There we are. Oh. Look, I've come to help you. You've come to help me, have you? I have indeed. Oh, there you are. That's very nice of you. I am a nice woman. <laughs> and we're just going to cut them into smaller pieces. It's going to get that out of the way so people can see. There we go. There we go. While so, you do that, I'm just going to fetch our, our cooking implement. So while you do that. Um, it doesn't really matter how big. I just like to have nice enough chunks. And we're going to pull a few more pieces. Don't get up. Um, fresh basil. Again, it really comes down to how uh, basil -y you like your uh, thing. I and find, if you like to pr pronounce it basil or basil. Yeah, it does matter. Uh, but I find to be careful about putting too much in because it will really dominate everything you got there. Once you have that, I just take, take that, this over the back of the hand, and we'll put that in whole. We're then going to take per drink a half an ounce and a half an ounce, a half an ounce. And a half an ounce? And a half an ounce. How much is Welcome to Danny D and Al Diablo's well, language lessons. <laughs> per cocktail of simple syrup, that is again one to one sugar and water. I'm going to put that in there. And once again, we are going to just muddle that. Where did I put my muddler? There it is. We're just going to muddle that. It's very muddled. So, again, with the muddling on this, you, one of the things you want to be careful, you don't want to crush and just sort of tear up the basil that's in there. You want to sort of, what you're really looking to do is release some of that water that's in the cucumber. You want to get the sugar um, incorporated, mixed in, so to just bring some of that out. So don't tear into it, you know. You want to kind of you're releasing be, oils. In yeah, the you're, you're, you're using pressure, but you're also kind of being a little gentle with it. All right, so we have that set in there. All right, so in this case, because we're we're going to go with a limoncello, if you have the uh, uh, what we used before, Cointreau. the Cointreau, we're going to do the same uh, uh, ratios here. So we're going to do a half an ounce of limoncello to uh, per drink. Uh, if you've ever had this, delicious, it is delicious, wonderful yeah. little ap aperitif. To that, we're also going to add in, per drink, a nice dash of orange bitters. Bring some of that citrus out. Uh, if you haven't got into playing around with bitters, it's a fun one to do. Bitters is out of that linking strategy between all the different flavors you're doing. And finally, the last thing you're going to bring in is an ounce and three quarters of vodka. Oh, I forgot to put in the lemon juice. That would be really hard to do if I didn't use lemon juice as well. And finally, into our lemonade, you will add... Some lemon juice? Lemon juice. An ounce of lemon juice. Wild. I knew there was a part I was missing. It didn't seem as full before. There we are. It smells just like yeah, this. Just it that. smells so good, and that's... Yeah. Mm. So, now we're going to take our shaker tin. We are going to fill that up with ice. I agree with you, Maureen. You can take that. Yep. Thanks and the, uh, do you need ice for the glasses? Uh, no, yes. I'm using crushed ice. Oh, you're using crushed ice, so I will put this away. So we are going to put that all in there, give it a tap. I'm just going to give our glasses a little rinse. You're not going to shake? Oh, I will shake. Sorry. That's the whole point. Again, about 15 to 20 seconds. There we go. Now I will rinse our glasses. There you go. 
parting for one Let's, moment. Okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this out. You're just trying lever, to, hanging over me. Yes, I'm so sorry <laughs> that I was trying to clean our glassware. All right. So, can you grab me a spoon? No. Yes. So this one we're going to do a little bit different. We are going to, normally I would have a scoop, but we are going to use a spoon and we're going to quickly, uh -oh. first of all, finish, fill this glass with some lovely, actually probably just dump it right out. Oh, I could. Like that. Mm. Fill that. This is going to change how the drink works now because with, with a lot of crushed ice in there, we're going to have it sort of change. No, 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 I oh, don't. Sorry. Oh, sorry. We're going to have it change and evolve over time. As the ice melts, we're going to have the drink change. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more ice in here. With Jenny, with an, a drink like this, you want to sort of fill it with, fill the glass about three quarters, maybe even all the way with your crushed ice. And again, because there's basil leaves in here and cucumber seeds and pulp from the lemon juice, we're going to double strain this over there we go so you can see that's changing entirely how this drink is there we go now that's in there so we're going to add what we have left in here can i come back now you can come back now. Mm -hmm. Just don't take anything from me as i'm trying to do it again you don't want to and we're just going to keep Oh, look at that. There it is. The perfect pour. All right. And we're just going to do, in this case, we want to do a nice little half wheel. You're a nice little half wheel. Well, I think so, too. I think that about you as well. Oh, thanks. There we go. I'm going to put a little one there. Giddy up. You know what? I'm going to do something that's going to make you mad. No, let's not do that, then. All right, I won't do it. There we go. I want to that. take some of Yes, take it. You take that. Cheers. Yeah. So a this is, pongo. again, same thing. Lemon cello is going to have a slightly different flavor, and we're doing it over crushed ice, which means it's going to be a slightly different experience as you drink it. I find this is nice. Also, this is also really good if you want to put this in a highball glass mm -hmm. and then add soda on top of mm -hmm. it. I'm just going to see. Doing the thing. Do watch it happen. So that, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. The green vodka lemonade. I'm gonna throw lemonade. that recipe up there one more time. Yep. Very quickly. Green vodka lemonade. There you go. Vodka. Um, With green stuff. In this case, we're using limoncello. I find this, this is a little sweeter, but you got a lot more of that lemony flavor through I love it. it. I like, I prefer um, this. Yeah, lemon juice, simple syrup, cucumber, basil to give it the green notes. And uh, um, also, one of the things I find is also nice for this, I'm just gonna come over here for a quick second. And I was doing this, because this is a very lemony drink, adding a little bit of salt onto this. Not, you're not rimming it, you're just adding a, the most minute pinch of salt into it. And what it's really, the salt is also really good to add to sweets, it, and lemons especially, it really brings up some of those, uh, those, those, those sharper notes, and mm -hmm. some of those really, especially with the sours, it really pops that up. Plus, now that it's crushed, it makes a fun little noise, and uh, your mom just said it's like a boozy slushy, and mm -hmm. I agree, and I'm all about anything that I could yep. turn into a delinquent version of a child thing I'm wipe this down makes for me you. real happy. Thank you. That's very oh, kind. No or, or hold on. Don't touch that. Why are you in my way? What are you doing? Well, I'm not, I'm not taking everything away as you're trying to you literally take, use. Don't take my things away. I'm going to put that on you. Don't put. I'm going to cucumber you. Don't cucumber me. That's my snack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, mm, mm -hmm. we have uh, some amazing guests uh, past couple of weeks. Uh, the amazing Ben Cardilli has joined us. We are so excited to have Ben. It makes me feel cool. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he makes us cool. Okay. We're just, we're just old. I mean, Galadriel makes us cool too. Yeah, and everybody so makes us cool. But like, the first time I watched Ben, like I've seen Ben perform live stand up. Yeah. But the first time I saw his music stuff, I was like, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, yeah, and amazing. like the fact that he wants to be associated with us makes yeah. me feel, feel pretty funky. Last week, we cool. uh, uh, he had just released his his latest song, uh, uh, the jokes on us. The jokes on us. Thank you very much. Uh, and he is also in the process of just putting the last bit final touches on his new album, 
uh, The Great Indoors. Mm -hmm. Another song from The Great Indoors, ladies and gentlemen. This one, especially for what we do here, this to me, I, I felt a special kinship. Oh, I here. love this. And not only do you get to see Ben in this, but you also get to see Ben's lovely wife. Yes. Enjoy, because uh, we certainly did. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Ben Cardilli. And we'll answer your questions in a moment. And Friday Night In. You know what day it is. T G I F U T G O. Thank God it's frowned upon to go out. Hit me. Get ready for a Friday night in. Crack the whiskey while I finish the gin. Open the blinds, cause we're dressed to the nines. If the neighbors never see, it's a sin. Pick a movie that we ain't gonna watch. Ain't no secret there's a niche in my crotch Shouldn't be a tough sell Why we're stuck in this hell It's a shop that even I couldn't botch It's the right time for some laughing And we've used up every excuse You got some fresh bread in the oven Okay, we'll eat it, of course Then pants are gonna get loose After taking time to Skype with your dad Start to realize this isn't half bad Check all our texts Then we're ready for sex To the greatest Friday night that we've had And is it weird that I'm not missing the world? I'm being spoiled from all this time with my girl Visit my pets Trudeau paying my debts Look out, I'm coming in for a twirl Ain't no people talking loudly Streets are quiet and calm As for traffic, hardly any You'd think that some crazy fucker called in a bomb Take cover Now I know some folks are suffering and that part still makes me sad But this whole life sure beats working To think some of us could be cleaning toilets instead No shame in that just So that. enjoy your little Friday night in No one wondering where the hell you've been We're all in our rooms just avoiding our doom And that's exactly why I'm wearing a grin I tell you personally, I call this a win God, I'm loving me this Friday night in. Yeah. Yeah. I love that song. Ben Cardilli, everybody! Ben Cardilli, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and Ben's lovely wife. It's so nice to see her finally who's, on who's, the show. Whose name I don't know. We don't, so, we you don't, know it, it, I believe her name is Lovely Wife. Lovely Wife? Lovely Wife. Mrs. 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 Lovely, lovely Wife Cardilli. Cardilli? Um, or and, or, and or pro she probably didn't take his name. No, probably not. She's it's probably just Mrs. Mrs. Lovely, lovely wife? wife. Maiden name. Maiden name. Yeah, it's cool. And I also um, respect if she wants to remain anonymous. So that's uh, told, know, the, honestly, at this point, that's a me, totally fair thing to say. Yep, yep. Um, I have some buns toasting for us. Okay. And you are going to make some burgers for us now? Yeah. So you, we bought, might, might I for a moment? Oh, you're going to do that, are you? Um, we didn't make them this week. Sorry, friends. No. Um, we bought slider buns. I oh. love these. <laughs> I, I think they're so cute. Like ben tells her she to call her lovely wife. LWC. LWC, okay, cool. They're we. They're like burger they're spider burgers. They're, they're burger buns, but small. And I love them. So, um, we bought ours. You guys can make them. Also, if you're doing the gluten free thing, you don't need buns, especially if we're that doing these as a uh, slider size. You can do these kind of like a munchy a la main, genre. Mm -hmm. Um, or you can use a lettuce wrap. I'm just going to do this because it's, it, it, I'm very it's highly be, distracted by be, mess. Um, very terrible when you're on the show. <laughs> I know. Listen, 
It's part of my. Trust me. It's okay, part of my charm. I'm putting some oil in the pan. All right. I wasn't sure if you knew. I, just, I understand that I haven't turned it on. I love the fact that everybody in the world now gets to witness how stupid you think I am. I don't think you're stupid. I just think sometimes you, 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 you I get excited. admit it over and over. You don't know how this thing works. Oh, no. I've said it scares me. I am well aware of how it works. It doesn't mean I don't find it scary. Really? So, you're trying to turn the power up. You haven't turned it on yet. I think, You're the the, one who, I think the algorithm appropriate response to that is 4Q, Dan. Um, uh, so, for, so hit menu first. So menu. Now that's you that's want super high. No, that's actually about mid. That's about medium. Okay, well, I'm I again. I don't like it when, especially when I'm trying to wear a pretty outfit, the oil splashes. I know, but that five is is medium exactly. I understand that. But given that we're at week maybe 11 now, and I have had this spit oil in my face a few times, I'm good at three and a half. You guys want to go for like a medium high heat? Um, also, presumably, I don't know, maybe you're cooking in your fancies. I choose to cook in my fancies, which is silly. Um, plus, my husband bought me this lovely onesie. You guys are missing the best part in Cambodia, and I can't get back there anytime soon to replace it, so I am going to keep my heat low. You guys are looking for medium high, okay? What, what's the difference? Why would, what, what are you gonna get off of cooking it low? It's not that I'm getting anything from cooking it at low, I'm trying to, given that I'm not wearing an apron, mm -hmm. I'm trying to minimize the amount of oil splatter that's gonna end up on me. All right, if you want it to be higher, I don't mind being there. To well, if you want to come over here and not, and, and, and help. I realize it's all you're just in one. Yeah, I just don't want to get oil stains on my, my nice outfit. This might be the only time I actually get to wear it this summer, yeah. so, you know, why ruin it? Because I find if you cook that too low, you can also, you, you're gonna get a, a bigger chance of it sticking. Well, also what you're going to get, sad trombone, trombone sound. Uh, we'll talk about my trombone in a second. Um, that sounds filthy. Also, you don't want, the other thing too is, if you put them in and the heat isn't high enough, what you're just going to have is salmon burgers that absorb a ton of oil while they're no. waiting to cook. So you don't want that. I just really didn't want to get my, my outfit dirty. Yeah. Irony. Tragedy. No. Da -da 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 tragedy. I don't know how it goes. When you cook your oil and you end up soiled, it's tragedy. Mm, yeah. Nice. I'm sorry, I turned you off. If my mic is, um, it is so beautiful. He, he, it's a good spot. It is. It was, a, it was a fun. We went to a whole day. What was that? Ion, the Ion Center. The in, Ion in Center. In Phnom Penh. In Phnom Penh, yeah. It was cool. Know. It was a. We think we're all that in North America, oh. but I saw malls in, in Thailand and in Cambodia, the size of which and the spectacle of which I have never yes. even contemplated in my life. Food court alone in, uh, in uh, not MBK, but... Uh, no, it was called Paragon Siam. Paragon Siam. Oh, my food goodness. Food court alone. I mean, we couldn't, like, the only place we could afford to shop in there was the food court because everything else was, like, Burberry and Dior and whatever, but... I kind of just wanted to move into the food court for a it week. Was a, it, it was amazing. Some was of the insane. best food I've had was yeah. at a food court. Yep. And All like, right. So we where 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 we at? We're almost. It's it, not a. We wanted to smoke, or do you want? I don't need to smoke. It's a. It's hot to my to my hand. Yeah. Non touch. So I'm just seeing if we get a, a shimmer. We're getting a, a it's, small it's shimmery. Shimmery. Uh, Alan, we could run one down there and test it. Try we go, one or are two? we going down? Or are we going? I would go down first. Go down first on the sesame seeds. Yeah, yeah, shushy, that's what she said. So on. Come on, somebody. And again, anyone who knows where we live wants to show up for salmon sliders later. We'll have some extra. We'll go down on some. Um, Shush. Your algorithm. <laughs> algorithm. Sorry. Just I just want to put two up there first just to test to make sure that they're. Oh, okay. To test the, the heat first. You're testing the waters? I am testing the waters. For your seafood recipe. I'm just going to get my cocktail. So you can talk to the people about that. Hi, people. I'm talking to you. So what we want to do is we <laughs> want to tell you to do something. You literally say that you're going to do that. I know. It's part of my charm. You keep trying to destroy my on-screen on persona. Um, I'm trying to destroy it. You want encourage to cook, it. You, you want to cook these at about three minutes per side. So we put these down about 30 seconds ago. Probably like 6.42 and a half, we should flip them over. Fish is a funny thing. Ha ha. Um, some people don't like it when it's undercooked. I would rather my fish, my fish be like barely cooked. Um, 
I, but again, this is a burger and not like um, a tuna steak. Yeah, you want like this that. to so hold. You, you want it to hold, but you don't want it overcooked because. Yeah. And also with some of this kind I'm of. I'm also hitting the toaster. If that's yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry, hit that toaster. I'm sorry. Hitting that toaster. Um, with something like this too, because the salmon is so delicate, you really want to be careful to not poke at it, not to keep touching it because. Don't poke the salmon. Let let that the crust build up on the bottom side so that it basically it holds together properly. But also, so and I'm just gonna flip it. I'm gonna try to. So hold the top button. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm holding, I'm, you hold your top button and go down. No, hit you guys. Yes, I know what's happening. Just give me a patience. Um, there you go. You guys see that? You can tell from the bottom that they're starting to cook. You see that? Like you've got that one color at the top, and then that sort of. I don't want to stick my hand in the oil, mm -hmm. but then you've got that different sort of color at the I'm bottom. Just do that. You there do you that. go. Light. There you go with a putty. Ooh, and it and from here I got sprayed. So I'm going back. Goodbye. See, you told you. Ooh. I I don't mind. I this. Oh, there we. I think this is nice. Oh, there we go. Flip that over. Oh, oh there we are with a nice little. Oh, look oh. at that. Beautiful. Given that those are cooking so well, I would and how hungry you are, I would throw two more in just for fun. All right. Throw two more in. We can put the rest back in the fridge for right now, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to put these back in the fridge for later. Um, yeah, this is, I, I love this kind of thing, too. It's, it's nice, it's light, uh, it's, but it's still, salmon is such a nice, hearty fish. That's, it, and it's really good for you. There's a lot of really good stuff in yeah. there. Good omega-3 fats, and it's good for your heart. It's brain food if you... Grew up in my yeah. house, you used to hear You have good them. salmon, too. I, I, what I think I like is you have a very forgiving range of doneness. I like my salmon... Barely uh, done? Barely done. Me, too. One of the things I also love, if you have salmon, I'm going to just do a quick plug for something that I okay. personally love. Go for it. And this is a... If you're from B.C., you probably know this. If you're, you're, if you're not, you probably have never heard of it. Uh, salmon, famous salmon sauce. I had never heard of this before, Dad. It is one of my absolute favorite things. If you want to do salmon, just put some of this in, let some salmon marinate, and then cook it. It's beautiful. It's sort of a tangy and, and salty, a little hint of sweet. It's almost a teriyaki kind of feel to it. Um, also, if you're cooking salmon, like if you're not, if you don't cook a lot and you're watching us, and uh, sorry. Sorry, baby. Um, I'm saving you from the splatters. Um... Oh, those are beautiful. Cooking salmon, like yeah. making it taste good, is not a complicated thing to do. We did um, salmon fillets this week. A little salt, a little pepper, a, a tiny bit of olive oil on top, and some lemon juice. Whack that in the oven. That'd be some tasty, tasty right. dinner, and it's not hard to do. You mm. don't need necessarily. You can see that. Um, look at those. Look you at guys those. can see those. Oh, those are look at those. Um, it doesn't have to be a hard thing to do. A lot of people are intimidated by cooking fish because blah, blah, whatever. Nah. Nah. I find fish is, I like cooking fish because it's, it's actually very simple because it's, it's also really good. If you want something quick, fish is a really great mm -hmm. way to go. Uh, and I mean, there are more complicated ways you can cook fish. Like poaching a salmon obviously is more involved than roasting a salmon in the oven at like 425 for ish. 15 minutes, but that's really all it takes. Wash, pat, salt, pepper, oven. You I know? think you can do, if you do with lemon, sorry, add a lemon and a bit of wine. Let it sit overnight, it's even better. You know, or, one. I mean, we'll, we'll probably, it's it's summer and I tend to go a bit meat less. Yeah. Not meatless, but meat less in the summer. Um, so we'll probably do a. If you guys are down for fish recipes, we are more than happy to do a, a few. Yeah, we have, we, have, we have a few different. Ones. It's, I, it's I, a light. I find you know shrimp, seafood in the summer. It's just it's less heavy than red meat. Yeah, um, I would go. I would also love to go head to head lobster dungeness. What what do you? We'll put them on the counter and let them fight it out. Exactly. Who would not want to see that? No, I don't I, know. Would you guys want to see? <laughs> no, but just do a, I, 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 you know, do a lobster roll, do a crab roll. It's an influencer salmon. Yes. Yes. I like a good influencer salmon. Um, we're good here. I think these are pretty close. Those, Those are that's good. The buns are buns are done. I love it when our kitchen uh, things run. Yep. 
So I'm going to just pull these off. You pull those off. I'm going to put some slider buns on and the again, plate. Again, I'm just touching these. I want to see how uh, we've got a nice little crust happening on those. Yeah, those are gorgeous. I'm going to let those Woo! down. That's hot in that and again, toaster. I'm going to bring that so you Woo! guys can see how good that is. Hot toaster, hot toaster. And we're going to turn that off. Hot we'll toaster. Over here. Hot toaster oh. sounds a lot like me hot too. Toaster. For... Hot toaster. Hot toaster. Hot toaster. Hot toaster. So while that's sitting, we have an unequal amount of buns and burgers. This is the Quebec hot dog problem. Has anyone ever noticed? Is it the rest of the country or is it just in Quebec? No, it's everywhere. That hot dogs come. Hot dogs come in, in one quantity. Six, and, six uh, or eight. Six, six or twelve buns, but you have generally eight hot dogs per package. Yes. So in North Hi, UK coin. It's nice to see you. Welcome. Battle of the crustaceans. I love battle. Battle of the crustaceans 2020. Um, what do we got? What time are we sitting at? We are sitting at We have to check back in with Chef Duyen. So we while, do have to check in. While we check back in with Chef Duyen, I am just us. going to put um, a little bit of the spicy mayo on here. Um, They'll still sue you. I know, I know you guys are going to see it. I'm just giving you a little heads up in case you really want to pay attention mm -hmm. to Chef Duyen, which you should. He's mm -hmm. a smart man. Um, Y'all can throw whatever you want on here. I'm not a fan of cheese and fish so much, unless it's on my filet of fish but we'll talk about that some other time. Um, arugula or rocket goes really nice on these. Yeah. Um, Again, we made spicy mayo. If you guys want to make like a tartar sauce, um, that's very nice. That's too. very nice too. A little. Or weirdly like a, enough, you know what's good? Salmon sauce. Do you want to put some salmon sauce on yours? I will put some on later. Okay. On a different one. We're gonna make. There's well, two here. Yes. Maybe one with salmon sauce, one without. You do you. Boo. I will. All right. Back to Chef Duyen. Ladies Can and I have gentlemen, my, um, Chef Duyen listening implement, please. Yes, we are. We are gonna quickly switch over. Uh, so that we can hear him and not uh, drive you guys crazy. Before we do this, we made... What are we making, UK Coin? We just made uh, salmon sliders, and we made a green vodka lemonade. Uh, the recipes thing. for which are in the ingredients on the YouTube channel. So yeah, if so you're check joining channel. us a little bit late, it doesn't mean you have to miss out. So It's all there. Ladies and gentlemen, checking in with De Chef Duyen! It's not Def Duyen. Hi, Def Hello. Chef Duyen. How are you? I'm back. You're, you are back. My favorite seafood, can jello. Can o can o jello. This is best seafood. Yes, that's a seafood. Oh, because it's in a can. Can, <laughs> can jello. Gel can o pineapple. Uh, All right. Let's see the results. Let's of see the your results jello. of pineapple. Uh, did you use lime? Is this the lime jello in pineapple? And a can. And, and a can. can. I'm sorry to have forgot the can. So what we're going to do now, we're going to extract the jello yeah. from the can. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is flip the can over, yeah. the can opener. Ah, so you're going in from the opposite side, yes? Ah, wow. Going from the back There's door. There's technique involved here. Well, he's a backdoor man, that Chef Duyen. <laughs> sorry. You don't like fish? I'm in computer security. Back door is back door. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He's in computer security. He's a back door. Says the chef. Says Chef Duyen. All right. So then we're going to open it. And then we're going to carefully, Very carefully unmount the jello. Unmounting. With the knife. So you're going to run, just, run so a sharp knife around the edges of that? I believe Duyen? it was a butter knife you chose to go with. It's not that sharp. It's really not that sharp. And then, oh, yeah. oh! I, I believe the the it was the Beautiful. perfect slunking sound. Uh, Chef Duyen, can is there any way that your um, invisible anonymous assistant can 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 zoom in so we can get a better look at that? Or could you hold uh, it up? No, hold no. It up for he the can, he can hold it up time. for the camera one more time. Oh, look at that! Look at this! Look at that! And then. The that's beautiful. Chef Duyan really? with your backdoor can, everybody. Thank you, Joe Schmuller, for your contribution to that. And look how beautiful oh, is it? Oh, well, that, that is exactly how the ancient Hawaiians we used have it. have some wiggly. Oh. There we go. Can we see it at home? That's, that's actually beautiful. The color is very um, colorful. Very lovely. The pineapple know, is right? very pineapple-y. 
Oh, wow. Cameraman yeah. involved. Holy moly. Look at this. It's beautiful. Wow. Chef Diane, fancy once again, me. you have uh, taken us down a journey of culinary Very delights good. that have truly confused and upset us. I'm not so upset. I'm most impressed with the uh, lemon-lime look of... There's no lemon in it. I know there's no lemon in it, but it's a lemon-lime look. Um, the, the rings are perfectly I get, ringy. I get what you're... I get what you're yep. Rings are perfectly part, rings ringy. Rings are perfectly ringy. you got to give credit where credit's due. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Doyen. Exactly. Thank you very much, Chef Doyen. Thank you, Chef Doyen. We'll see you next week. See you guys next we week. We appreciate you <laughs> and all that you do. All right. So you are going to be making some... Uh, finishing off these burgers? I really have not much else left to do because we live together. We share germs. I'm taking my little fingers. Look how well we match this slider side. Oh, that's so beautiful. To the little slider buns. You want to fly in here for a I second? will. I will. Let me fly. And do you want a little arugula on here? Is I would love a little you? arugula. A little arugula. A little arugula. Um, so we're just going to come in arugula. here with the fly cam. Look at those little buns. Aren't they cute? I love cute food. Look at the cute food. Ever just zoom cute there. food there makes me are. really happy. Cute food. This is a fantastic little appy if you are making, you're having your own Sanka set. Oh, you know what? We're not wonderful. doing that. Wonderful. Never mind. IGA, you've let me down. Uh -oh. Bought that yesterday. Crusty AF in the thing. All right. So no lettuce. That's no, fine. No arugula. That's okay. That's okay. Well, Pissed off at IGA. Um... We'll eat those. Let's have a snack. Let's have a bite of those. You have a bite. You haven't eaten yet today. I so. will. You have a bite as well. We have okay, each have I'll, one. All right. You have that one right there. You just made I it. I know, but I'm just I'm I'm tap tap. I'm ca tap tap. We do this with food now. Of course we do. Tap tap. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, so good. The garlic chives are really mm -hmm. nice. Mmm. You guys saw it was super easy. Um. We don't have kids, and I don't know if kids um, would eat this, but I kind of think this is a way to get yeah. your kids to eat fish. It's a burger. Yeah. It tastes tasty. I know. I, I, we had a couple people who mentioned they're not a giant fan of fish. And if you don't like fish, this is kind of – I find I like salmon. For people who don't like fish, salmon is a nice fish mm -hmm. to go to because it's got a, a good texture to it. It's got a good – And, again, it's not a hyper fishy. Like No. I lived in England, and there was a lot actually of – actually done this way. This is really – when you got the real good sear on it, I find, like, if you go with stuff like smoked haddock, smoked this, it ends up smoking out the hyper fishiness of stuff. This is cool. Fish on the barbecue. Um, and, again, for we had somebody who yeah. recently posted they're not into the fish. I promise you, if you hang out with us for the summer, yeah. so I'm saying from now until September, and you approach this with an open mind, you you might be into the fish by the time mm -hmm. September rolls around. Because we'll find some things that you like. Because I find this is a non-offensive way to eat something that... Yep. But very, again, everybody's got their own taste buds. So. We're very close to the uh, set part. Oh, we're, Before we go, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been amazing. We have a special treat for you guys. We do. A very special treat. Um, we've been talking a little bit about this, but now... It's happening. That is right. Do you like semi-nudity? Me too! Our new show, premiering June 12th. Did you say new or nude? Our, no, a bit of both. Okay. Uh, premiering uh, June 12th. Uh, we are both in the burlesque world, and we have decided we want to put, in addition to doing this show, we're not leaving the show, we're going to create a, uh, a one hour, every, uh, we're figure frequency yet. Right now it's once a month, could end up being twice a month if you Probably guys, gonna if be the twice demand a month. is yeah, there. That would be twice a month. Uh, but we're going to bring you some of the biggest burlesquers from around the world. 
The kind of stuff that you'd have to pay to hot continents to see yeah. um, all in one in one show. In one show. And we're gonna so we're gonna bring you that. We're gonna start in on June twelfth. It'll be a live stream show that is hosted by us live. So we're gonna do what we do uh, on a Friday or Saturday night at the Wiggle Room. If you guys come to see us host, if you don't know what that means, that's okay. We're, we're gonna we're and we're and we're maybe gonna, and we're not just gonna do it in that way. We're gonna do it in this new way. Oh yes, and we're gonna also we're gonna bring to you some of the greatest performances of burlesque. We went out to some of our friends and said, "Send us some of the video of you performing in front of an audience. We want to hear audience because we all know that we miss the audience. Live live performances really make a big difference when the audience is there. So when you see that." You are going to... Also, a lot of the people who have tuned in, if we don't know you, uh, thank you so much for yeah, being here. But a lot much. of the people who have been supporting us all the way through are either um, burlesque performers or burlesque fans. And I think the one thing we all miss is the live aspect. There's some great yeah. things that we can do with the new medium of us being at home without a live audience. Yeah. But the whole idea is Danny and I are going to try to recreate as much as possible the experience of being at a live show while sitting in your PJs at home. So, uh, June 12th is going to be the first show. The show is called uh, Stir Crazy, Crazy After, After Dark. Dark. We're going to see you there, ladies it's and gentlemen. It's going to be 18 plus, so just in case you were planning on watching possibly, with your children. Possibly. No, it, no. Let, let, we, let's debate that later. <laughs> if your kids like nudity and you're cool with that, then by all means. <laughs> no, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are at 7 o'clock. Yep. I've got sesame seeds in my teeth, so I know that Something's I'm doing good. this right. We have a drink. We have, we're in the need, in, in the need of a new drink, I think. Mm -hmm. We love you. We love you. I'm the Divine Danny D. I'm El Diablo. Stay safe. Put a freaking mask on. Exactly. Take care of yourself. We'll Put a back. mask on. Next week, our next week's episode, Planet Z. Planet Z. Planet Z. We'll see you then. Thank you.